I think 2015 actually was a good growing year for me. Um, you know, I started off the year still struggling a little bit. I was striking it well, I just wasn't scoring. And then I think halfway through the year I started figuring things out and pieces were falling and birdies were dropping and, you know, I gained that confidence. So 2014 I lost my status, I had to go back to Q school. So to finish, you know, top 70 in 2015, you know, it's a good stepping stone. Let's just say I don't ever want to go back to Q school, you know, it's just a stressful week and to have to go back and your career's on the line and, you know, what tour you're going to play on, I mean, it's awful. You know, and that's how 2014 was, is all of a sudden the cut line became this object versus the big picture of things and it's like looking back and going to Q school and going, oh, the cut doesn't seem so bad now when I'm trying to get, you know, top 20. So it was a good learning experience and I think it made me stronger, so, you know, no regrets. Being picked for Solheim, I was—I felt great. It was, you know, I felt lucky. At the time, Rosie saw in me what I saw in myself, and she believed in me. And you know, I went out and did what I could. You know, it created a lot of controversy, and that created a lot of doubt and question in my own mind, which I struggled with and had to kind of learn to overcome. But that tournament's awesome. It's probably one of my favorite ones that you know we're able to play in, and I can't wait for the next one that I get to play in. You know, I think at the end of the day, you have to be a representation of yourself. We are our own business, we are our own product. How do you want to sell your product? We do things better than the average public and to be able to sell the sense that come watch us play because A, you can get closer, B, you can relate to our games a lot more and learn a lot. You know, it's interesting, like women's tennis, I mean, you know, for a while they bandwagoned off the men's circuit, but, you know, they, for, they went on strike and they said, look, we're not playing unless you raise our purses and, you know, I really, um, admire that. I wish, you know, we had more of that strength out here to say, look, you know, we are worth more. We are worth just as much as the men are, and we want to play for that. I think golf has made me worldly. It allows us to see the world and see, you know, how good we really have it and, you know, what else is out there. Um, and it makes, I think at the end of the day, it makes me appreciate what I do have.